this is G. Gove rides. Over the past few weeks, I've been taking some time and contemplating my life and what I should do with it. And that time contemplating involves several heroic doses of mushrooms to really kickstart the contemplation process. And in that time, I discovered that all I really do is ride my bike around and shit on the things I see, and stop for the occasional piss. I realized that shitting on everything, as much as most of those things deserve it, it's not really helping to change things. And as long as I continued on this path, I'm just as much a part of the problem and deserve to be shit on just like the things that I usually shit on. And that's just too much shit. Can't be a good thing. I decided I'm still going to ride my bike around non-stop and piss anywhere I can. But I'm also going to try to find things I can do to improve our world. Cause even small change is some change. So I embarked on this bike ride with that on my mind. Trouble is though, what could I do? One jag off on a bicycle trying to change the world? Not to mention, while I'm riding I constantly have the urge to stop and talk shit, but I knew I had to stay strong. So I went to this rich neighborhood for some inspiration. Who on earth is more equipped to change the world than people with unlimited resources like rich people? The great thing about biking in rich areas is the residents, they can't quite tell that you don't belong. It really is the great equalizer among classes. Because I'm moving too fast for them to tell just how old and dirty my coat is. So they just smile and nod. It's a beautiful thing. I was beginning to get a little discouraged after biking around all these mansions and not gaining any inspiration. Only thing that came to me was the urge to take a piss. Luckily, I spotted this little dead-end hideaway area to take a piss. My piss spot had to be private, cause pissing outside is a dead giveaway to the rich folks that you don't belong. So I nestled in for a piss like I've done a million times before. And during that piss, I noticed something. This area is covered in trash. That's it! The inspiration I've been looking for! I'm gonna clean all this trash and make this area a nice spot for families to have picnics again. Once again, taking a piss was the answer to all my problems. I went to my backpack to grab the garbage bag that I keep on hand for dumpster diving behind restaurants and put on my garbage gloves and got to work. I immediately realized that this was not going to be easy. There's a lot of fucking trash around here. But you know, like, I can pick up trash. It's something that's pretty easy to do. Convicts are out there picking up trash on the highways. Why can't I? I started off pretty well, filling up my bag and slowly making this picturesque spot more beautiful. Lots and lots of different types of garbage here. Bunch of pieces that fell off of Ford cars is no surprise, as they tend to be the shittiest of all the shitty cars. This looks like a bottle of piss! Someone just hucked this from their car? Fucking piss container? I would piss on a container, but never in one. That shit's barbaric! And what's with all these buckets? They're taking up all the space in my bag. I kept getting all tangled up in these weeds, making this whack job even whacker. There's so much of this styrofoam, when I grabbed it, it just disintegrate, leaving these little ball styrofoam things. Like I think I'm just making a bigger mess grabbing this than what it was when I first got here. I was really starting to get frustrated, but I told myself I'm doing a good thing. That was enough to keep me going. But after that short time of collecting garbage, I had to stop to take a piss. That's piss number two, for those of you counting. Classic quality piss break. There's all sorts of trash here, and it's, it's very overwhelming. There's no way I can fit all this into my bag. 
And what in God's name am I gonna do with all this garbage when I'm done? Go bike through the rich neighborhood with a bag of garbage on my shoulder? Like, look at this thing. What, what, what am I supposed to do with that? It's like an industrial air vent or something. Where'd this even come from? I was really beginning to question my choices with all these setbacks, but that's to be expected once again when you do something good. Here we go again, I had to stop and take another piss and gather myself so I could continue on. After pissing out whatever I pissed, I put my brave face back on and got back to the whack task. There's some sort of plans here that I found in the rubbish. I think there are instructions describing why trying to clean garbage on the side of the highway is a whack thing to do. And by this point, my bag was all fucked up and shit kept falling out of the bottom. Some of this garbage has been here so long, it appears to have merged with the earth and become a part of nature. And if I were to remove it, it would probably be more harmful to nature at this point as it's assimilated into the ground. There's fucking garbage in trees. How can I compete with that? Tree garbage? Then my shoelace came undone. And that, right there, was the last goddamn straw. Fuck this shit. It ain't meant to be cleaned. I'm done. After all that work, I didn't really accomplish jack shit. My bag kept filling up so I just had to walk it over here and dump it in a separate pile so I could pick up more garbage. All I did was move trash from one spot to another like some sort of garbage courier. What a joke. Maybe I'm just not cut out to make the world a better place. Cause this seemingly easy task was a complete and utter failure. And of course I had to rock one more piss before I left. Mostly so I could tell myself I accomplished something in the day by finding a new spot that is capable of handling four pisses in one outing. So I left there pretty disappointed in myself with the only evidence that I was there being a pile of garbage and a few dirty old piss stains. So that was it. Try to do something good and end up probably making things worse. No wonder the world is such a shitty place if doing something as simple as picking up garbage is such a chore. Just maybe the world has struck a good balance between shit and good. And me failing to do something good is the world telling me that I would throw that very balance out of whack and fuck everything up if I were to do good. Whoa, that's a good creed to live by. And I didn't even need mushrooms to make that realization. All natural. Except a bit of weed. Fuck bike rides are dope. And with that, I must say goodbye and continue not being a good person to keep that balance of the world in check. So remember, sometimes doing good, it just ain't worth it. Goodbye for now.